Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Leo Tarot reading. Leo love tarot reading. Leo love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Leo love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them. Who's making what move, if any, move? What's going on in the connection? Let's take a look and see what and who is coming in. Well, 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 Leo, it's the Nine of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Jupiter and Pisces energy, the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. So something here that you've been, something you've been wishing for is going down. Let's see what that means. We're one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Is this somebody you had built a life with? You wanted to build a life with? Maybe it was, you were, it was on the table. I mean, it could be around a lot of things. We could be talking going exclusive, introducing to families, blending families, just, yeah, just talking again. Let's see. It's coming in here with the Four of Pentacles, the Sun, and Capricorn energy. So this person hasn't let you go. There is something that they're trying to work out here. And is that what you've been waiting for? Is that the wish that's coming true here? There, you know, look, here's the thing. We see them holding on to you. It's a house there. So that's connecting me to the sun and Scorpio energy. It's like a familiar energy, you know, feeling at home with you, my person. But there's also chains, locks, and a house. So we could be looking at other things here that you've been waiting for them to work out. And it could be around location, other people, other contracts. Let's see. But I'm liking this Nine of Cups coming in for you. Leo, I'm channeling for you in July. Whoa. 2024. You could be here in July 2024. Look what's here. You could also be here many months, even years later, and that's because this is a timeless reading. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. Temperance came flying out, also brought the Six of Wands. So it looks like you've been wanting to hear the truth from this person and just in general wanting to hear from them. Temperance, this is Sagittarius energy. It's working things out. It's like meeting in the middle. Temperance is connected to the heart chakra. I love. And Archangel Michael specifically is connected to the solar plexus chakra. I do, as well as the throat chakra I speak. Archangel Michael just wants to get everybody on the path to the truth. And it's coming here with the Six of Wands, which is your energy, Leo. Jupiter and Leo energy. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion, prosperity. It's a hopeful energy. It's growth and just, yeah, things happening. Very optimistic energy. And, well, <laughs> it's they're riding a bird here, a hummingbird. That is a divine messenger energy. They're riding it. And this is a communication energy coming in. So this is hearing from your person. This is what you've been wishing for. And we can see that's already happening. Are you coming? Is there something around that Jupiter energy in terms of your relationship. So this is also what's wanting to come in. The Four of Pentacles came back. It came back in reverse. Five of Swords. Not loving that energy, but there you go. And there's the Knight of Cups. So also trying to work out. Well, Four of Pentacles in the partnership placement is what I wanted to say. So they haven't let you go. There's a little bit of triggering going on here. Interesting. It's connecting with the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius energy. So we're something said here. I think so. Also, it's, of course, connecting to the Fifth Chakra, the Throat Chakra. I mean, it, it's the Sword energy. It's clarity in your relationship. It's truth. It's information. I think it might have been the lack of that and also the lack of communication here. Temperance 
is coming in, Archangel Michael, wanting to work things out. Coming with the truth, restoring literally harmony and balance. This is definitely hearing from your person. I don't know if they've seen or heard something. There's kind of a triggering energy going on around this person, but they are coming in here. Yeah, there's a little bit of insecurity. So that's the word I wanted to find. Knight of Cups, Scorpio and Pluto energy. This is the princess, prince charming energy, romantic proposal energy. So yeah, it could be around pretty big proposals. Proposals are new beginnings. It can be around literally marriage. Way too early for that. It can also just be to talk, to meet. This is an emotional energy. It's, it's the Knight of Cups. It's around your relationship. It's around the love. And it is a very healing energy. In the deck today, we're seeing this person sitting in a lotus flower. And the dress is almost forming a rose. And they're, they have a heart which is like a harp, like playing some really beautiful music. It's like mesmerizing. It's coming from the heart. It's emotional. This is somebody who you've been wanting to hear something particular about. Yeah. We saw that wish fulfillment energy coming in. It was pretty clear. It's hearing from your person the truth. Yeah, this is somebody being honest about how they feel. There's healing energy here. And again, speaking from their heart, literally. And also through music, just even in the, car, the deck that we have here for you today. Making music. Playing music. We could have musicians here. That's also a making peace energy. So it's in alignment with the Five of Swords, Temperance, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. This person also apologizing. A hangman energy that's Pisces energy. I think that's too many. Okay, but this is yours. And it's bringing in another with it. So these are yours. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this person wasn't honest. They said some things also that weren't. I feel like they said some things. Okay, this is also wanting to come in. They said some things that were not true. You know, that they didn't mean. Look, the King of Pentacles is here. Is that it? <laughs> Are you done? Okay. Yeah, it's the Queen of Swords. It's coming here in reverse with the Five of Swords. This is Libra ruled by Venus energy. And it is catty corner here to the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody who said some things that greatly contributed to kind of how you got here. But these are things that they didn't mean. They were being, they were, there was some immaturity around it and it's because of their fear. I don't know if it's around feel, feelings or commitment or what, but that's clear. There's also a little bit of lack of confidence just even in wanting to come here, but we also see that happening. Temperance, of course, is a 14. And that's coming to a five. And that's, of course, we already know connected here, the energy to Archangel Michael to the throat chakra. But that's also getting, that's change and it's getting out of conflicting energy. And look, interesting because coming to a five, even here with the five of swords, that's a 55. And that's an energy of change, of things are about to change here. And look, the king of pentacles is here, catty corner with the knight of cups. Leo, I think this is somebody coming in here with this commitment. Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. There's a, there's a little bit of lack of confidence here, but it is here. It's the Queen of Wands because it is around commitment. Look what's here on our Queen of Wands. The, oh, why am I all of a sudden not remembering? Gosh, I'm having peacock feathers. They are connected to commitment. They fluff up their feathers, like when they're looking for a mate. Uh, it's in reverse, and that's because there's a, there's a little bit of lack of confidence. This person isn't totally sure. Maybe it's that you're going to accept this offer, what they want, because there is some, there is, there is some dishonesty, some things that were said here. Obviously, this person didn't behave in the best of ways. And Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Wands around it too. So contracts, pentacles, partnerships, relationships. 
Is there something else around another person or money or something? You know, there's there's a little lack of confidence here. Like, are you going to accept this offer or them coming back in here? Because we can see that they lied. So the hangman, Major Arcana here. We have the hangman and, and temperance. Yeah. The hangman is connected to the crown chakra. I know. And when you get out of the hangman, you know where you go. So you go into the death card energy, the Scorpio energy, and you start to make some changes. And you also, so you, you get you, what needs to end? What is needed to end around this person? Ego for sure. There are power struggles here. That's just really clear. Power struggles here. Somebody that's been indecisive, hasn't really been taking action. They are now. Uh, it's been a strong period of uncertainty. It's Pisces energy. It's emotional. You know, of course, getting that perspective. It's a divine number. So timing around it. You can see with our hangman, like the, the, the more knowledge they get, the zipper starts to open and it's opening up here into the sky to the possibilities. Yeah, it's getting out of this energy, getting out of their ego. So again, going into that death card energy and being able to make the changes that they need to make to send, get over themselves, you know, <laughs> some of the immature and arrogant energy and communicate. It's just coming through really clear from the get-go that this is what you've been wanting and this is what's happening. There's just a little bit, I don't know why, there's just a little bit of fear around it. What is needing to end? Because when you get out of temperance to what you're working out, you do go into the devil energy. So it can be some intense stuff that's coming up. And it can be even around somebody who has some, some something that they're doing that is not partaking in or doing that is not for good that's not for their highest good that's not good for anybody it could be connected to cups if you will it could be a lot of things so that's something that and that's the other thing it might be what we're needing to work out here what they're needing to work out and why things were said that weren't meant it could be somebody who was in you could say like a different state of mind it's going to be different what that is for everybody but i do feel that it's going to there's something that's going to be coming up here that also yeah that's also around the relationship and partly why there's a little bit of fear on this person the four of swords yeah so the knight of swords a little bit of fear around the communication look i'm going to talk about this in just a minute i just wanted to say because i your reading started really fast and i didn't get a chance to tell you that Leo, all your Zodiac readings are linked in the playlists on the channel as well as the description below. You'll find all 12 Zodiac signs. I don't always, I don't recommend cross-watching, but if you feel like it, definitely check it out. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, maybe you know your chart. In any case, they're down there. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings, collective love readings, and twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey. I take really deep dives into the twin flame journey so feel free to check it out remember to take what resonates and let the rest go and i'd really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the tarot closet thank you leo okay i just need to get these down because that is what i am being told to do <laughs> and i do what i'm told queen of cups in reverse yeah so it's not healed you know that's around the emotions, it's around your love, it's cancer energy. And before we look at this energy that just came in, I just wanted to talk about this because this is somebody who obviously wants to communicate, who is planning to communicate, who wants to work this out. There's a little bit of lack of confidence because of some things said, also not said. And for some of you, it's been a long time. And this is a validation of that, it's a four of swords. Jupiter and Libra energy. So it's where you both are. It's where you go after the three of swords, you know, this healing energy here. So look what they're doing. They're holding on to a feather. Okay, and of course, these are representing the swords. So it's the fourth one. And sword energy is transactional. It's clarity, it's communication, it's information. Whether it's not lack of clarity or clarity, lack of truth or truth, we can see that they're holding on to that energy of communication, which they haven't done yet. And you can see that here in the Knight of Swords, 
quite literally today. Libra and Mercury energy, and Mercury is around the communication. You can even see it here on the dress, all this writing. So they have a lot to say. There's just, again, there's a little bit of fear around it. You know, the, and I feel like also this person, the ego has kept them. So they, they know, that they've known they need to get out of, they need to write, communicate, call, whatever that is. Mercury is strongly connected to reading and writing. So it's a high possibility that it's text messages, social media, email, that sort of thing. But that's also communication in, in all aspects. So however you normally communicate. They know they have a lot to say, cut through the look, all the indecision, the bad decisions. They, their ego has played a part. And look what is here. You know, it's like the fountain. It's like the pen here, but they're writing on that feather. So it's, it's more of, it's the delay. Again, it's, yeah, it's around the fear and also some, some ego. Also some ego here. The King of Wands in reverse. There's the fear. That is the fear here. Look, right here with the Knight of Cups with a strong making peace energy here. It's a sincere apology. That's the thing. It's like, why are you waiting around? Our Queen of Wands and our King of Wands are both in reverse, okay? So yeah, that's the imbalanced energy around kind of not making the move around your person, first of all. It's the King of Wands and the counterpart to the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. And just a little FYI, why? <laughs> it's not about gender. But this is divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy. So it's the lack of balance in how they're coming. And we already know that. There's a fear around it. I mean, this is the King of Wands. That is the fear. It's just clear. But it's also telling me that you're both here. And yeah, it's, it's really been a strong period of uncertainty here. You know, there's just not, obviously everybody's here and you've been waiting for them to come in here with this communication and it's what they're trying to do. It's what is going to happen here. It's just been taking longer than it's needed to take the two of pentacles in reverse, connecting right with the four of pentacles in reverse, super strong validation that there is something around this contract in the four of pentacles that they're working out. One of those pentacles is yours, your relationship, and the commitment we see they have here that they're coming in with for you. It's like showing up for that. So it is, you know, it's it's in reverse here. So they're struggling. And they have been. They're, they're triggered. They don't want to lose you. They haven't let you go. They made a bad decision. So that's the other thing. There's an inability to commit energy here. So whether... That other pentacle is around another person. Perhaps contracts like work, location, you're going to know. It is here. We can see that they're trying to work it out. And one of those is yours, and we see that they're holding on to it here. There's just a delay and there's some fear. But this king of pentacles energy right here with the king, the excuse me, the knight of cups, coming with both the apology and wanting to work it out. So that's kind of like the gateway, opening the door with the apology. Yeah, and needed, 10 of swords, yep, five of cups. Yeah, that's the apology, five of cups in reverse, seven of swords, yes, in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse. Why are they apologizing? Look what's here, it's the nine of pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody who has been jealous, they're apologizing for that. There are some, obviously, for kind of putting you where you are, so were you in a long-term commitment already? Were you building it? Was it on the table? They, they took it off the table, just kind of stopped. We could even be looking here, by the way, with our two of pentacles in reverse and our nine of pentacles, somebody that was just not balancing out their life, their work and their romantic life and not giving you time, not putting the right, putting the time in. Whatever that is this person is very clearly coming back. They're kind of opening things up with an apology and you've been waiting for it and it's coming. It's the Ten of Swords. Why are they apologizing? Well, look what's here. You know, it's the Sun and Gemini energy, everything that happened. Hurtful energy. It's an ending. And things that were said, look at that. Things that were probably not said, just the... the the relationship, some truths. We know that there's untruths here. That's also validated in the Seven of Swords in reverse. 
This, this is a new cycle. You can't get any more swords in. So it's the end of no contact, no communication, and getting out of this hangman energy, this person getting out of their ego, going into that death card energy, ending what they need to end. So their ego and is there something else that they're working out here? Working so much, contracts that they are finished with, but they haven't really completed. Do you know what I mean? Work, money, other people, what is it? Getting out of the hangman energy and making that change and getting into this new cycle here, the Ten of Swords. And yeah, so new beginning, the potential, the opportunity. I mean, look, the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Cups in reverse right above it. That's where it wanted to go. And that's, yeah, that's obvious. It's obvious what happened here. It's the lack of, well, it's the herd energy. You know, it's, it's things haven't been worked out yet, but it also, it's like it put the Queen of Cups in reverse here with the Ten of Swords. So they're coming in here not just to make this right. They are doing that. There, there's a lot of things left unsaid. They want, this is somebody who wants to work this out. And they really, the, the opening here is the apology you've been waiting for. The Five of Cups in reverse. This They're asking for forgiveness. Can we move past this? Look. And it's coming with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarius and Uranus energy. What? And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is them coming back. They made some bad decisions here and kind of lost, a, they lost a lot. They lost, it's like a lo losing everything energy. That it was just such a bad decision. And obviously they lost you, which is everything to them. Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio energy. Why are they apologizing? For leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. It's an abandoning energy. They regret it. They're missing you. And the Seven of Swords changed everything. This is Uranus energy. They they weren't being honest. They were they were lying. Queen of Swords in reverse. So were they outright lying about something? Or were they was it truth by omission, just not telling you the truth? I mean, it's the same, but you know what I mean. If somebody says something and they're lying and their ears twitching or whatever, or they're just not saying anything at all, it's the same thing. So, you know, it could be that for some of you there was some betrayal here. I mean, look, it's a snake, okay? So that does connect with some of that energy of a snake. But it and and it's adorned with with beautiful roses and flowers, so it's kind of like somewhat enticing. But on the other hand, look, they're taking eggs here, so there is the hurt energy, the 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 stealing kind of, so your trust. Yeah. Possibilities. Like holding on to an egg, which you, you want to, to be nurtured and to hatch and to have new beginnings. So a lot of stuff has gone on here. But the snake also needs to shed its skin for renewal or it literally doesn't survive. This relationship, I would say, had and has no chance unless they do that. And that's both getting out of the ego, the reversal energy, getting out of shadow and coming here to make things right, to apologize. This is making peace. It's apologizing. It's coming back in. It's just really clear. The apology that has been a long time coming, that they are, have been and are still afraid to bring, but we also see that coming in. Temperance is here to work things out. Five of Pentacles, Mercury, and Taurus. I mean, this is an energy of loss. It's they're worried. You're, there's a separation. There's a big loss around your relationship for this person. And I mean, if you look at it this way, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups in the upright. I mean, it's clear what happened here, you know? And this is the energy of asking for forgiveness, coming back in, making it right. It's more, this is more than making it right. I want to bring in some Oracle Leo. I'm shuffled and ready to go, but I want to just move it a little, okay? I'm not reading it in reverse. Milk and honey. Look at that. Look at this. So this elephant, just an FYI, is a Taurus. Connected to Earth, family energy. Really, elephant energy is really strongly connected to family energy. And of course, 
obstacles out of the way, but these gentle giants. It's here with the upturned trunk. That's new beginnings. That's positive good luck energy. It's milk and honey. There's a rainbow for hope. This is a six restoring harmony healing energy also here with temperance. So it's like an extension of temperance really in many ways. The possibilities here and just the healing energy of the elephant here in the milk, <laughs> you could say, literally. Imagine, look, imagining the possibilities, the two of you. It's a 20, it's deducing to a two. It's your connection, it's restoring balance. It's making decisions. Where could this go look? Somebody's holding on to the moon, not letting go of the possibilities. In particular, it's not quite a full moon yet here, but around the emotional energy, the illumination, imagining what could be here still. This is definitely clear what they're coming, whoa, what they're com coming in with. So that's interesting with the serendipity because when I look, mending, that's repair, that's healing, that's uprighting the Queen of Cups there. It's coming to a seven. It's upon reflection, assessing the situation. It's controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. It's healing, healing energy. So there's definitely things need to be worked out. I mean, it's really clear. I mean, Ten of Swords here, Queen of Cups in reverse. It's this communication, this asking for forgiveness is like a door opening, but obviously things need to be worked out, but you're both here for it. And what I wanted to say before I was drawn to send you that message is when I was shuffling your Oracle deck before your reading, serendipity kept showing up. And I thought, okay, we're just going to see how that goes. So here it is. It's a nine, 18 coming to a nine, things coming to fruition. This is spirit sending, this is love, this is this person coming back in, the timing. Serendipitous, both how you came together and how things are coming together now. It's like going with it, look, grabbing onto it. It's a four leaf clover, connected also to the wheel of fortune in many ways, of course, a turning point, luck, things prosperous, excuse me, <laughs> expansion, Optimistic energy, just holding on to it. The four areas of support and stability, what you've been manifesting, and good luck. I mean, look, it's right here with milk and honey and timing. And if you're in Ireland, hello. <laughs> I know not everybody is, but that energy always comes in for me. Okay, so we have the deep knowing energy. We also have the time for a nap. It's more of this energy of... of yeah, assessing the situation, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. This is a strong validation here of the Four of Swords. This is where things have been, but look, it's the same moon. And it is connecting with the Four of Swords, with the separation, with the healing, with being apart and thinking. A lot of thinking going on around this person, but not just, yeah, it's, how can I... Put this, like it, it really is sincere. It's not plotting in, in that way. It's just imagining really here, you know, wanting to come back in here, knowing that they need to make things right, being a little, being afraid, but knowing what they want. King of Pentacles, the six here also wanting to communicate and heal and restore harmony and get out of this energy of the separation. But this is what's, well, something just came in here. This is what's been on their mind. And the deep knowing, this, again, it's, so here's the thing. This person knows what they need. Look at that thinker. Yeah, this is the, the message that I was just sending in. They want to work this out. It's just really clear. Connecting also here with the hangman. Look, the mending, serendipity, the timing, thinker. That's what we were just talking about. What I want to say before I send this message through is, just even in, in connection with, with the deep knowing energy, the, the healing energy, the mending, the 77, that's an energy of getting on track. And this is somebody who is reassessing their past actions, getting their priorities straight, and taking new actions, Leo. This person knows what they need to do what needs to happen in order for this to be worked out. It really, 
it, this asking for forgiveness is not an empty ask. Do you know what I mean? Like they know what they have to do to make things right and get on the track to come sincerely and make things right, but also for there to be any possibility here of, for, for what they're imagining this could still be to even happen. A deep knowing energy. And there's an owl here, of course. An owl, by the way, again, I think I already told you that it's connected to Scorpio. Yeah. So it's an emotional energy. You know, they, they can hold them back, but behind the scenes, they're working. And there is a nocturnal energy. Look, think our healing time for a nap, four of swords. Imagine literally this imagining fate and destiny, the possibilities, the renewal, where this could go. So that it could be that this message, the way they're communicating is coming in in a, in, an e in a nocturnal way, like a message coming out of the blue type of thing, like calling literally in the night. You know, it is here, but this is definitely somebody who knows how they feel, who knows what they need to do and who knows what they want. And that's also in alignment with the thinker energy. That's a 44. It's connecting us to intuition, gut instincts, these are guardian angels. It's co connecting us to the angelic realm. Look at the stars. Thinking of working this out and timing, getting out of the hangman energy. The possibilities here are still here for this person, but it's clear that they have to come in and without shadow and ego, they have the, the this apology needs to happen. And that 44 also comes to an eight. And that's an action number. And it's truth, and it's balance, and it's renewal. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Leo? My life is not as together as it seems. Interesting. Right here with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in reverse, which is in alignment. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Wow. Wow going here with the seven of swords with apologizing making it right i want to tell you how i feel yeah i can't stop thinking about you four of swords time for a nap thinker mending i mean it is just really clear you are the best thing in my life leo i want to work this out there's a lot of hope that they're holding on to. I couldn't let you get close to me. Interesting. And it's going here with the, the Queen of Cups in reverse. It's, you know, kind of like it went there when things were happening. Is that wanting to show? No. Okay. I know I messed up everything. Look deep knowing. Imagine. Four of Swords. What they have been reflecting on. That's the thing. This person has been in um, a lot of ref uh, strong reflective, reflecting on reflecting mode, getting perspective. That's the hangman energy before they go into that death card energy. I want to feel that way again, Leo. I want to feel that way again. I want to work this out. I regret lying to you. It's Queen of Swords in reverse with the Five of Swords here. Could be around other people too. But it's definitely around lying, obviously, and the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is making amends for that. Wow, this is really clear. So many things remind me of you, Leo. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I was feeling as I was putting this down, it doesn't belong there, and that's because this does. I hope you can forgive me one day. I mean, that's obvious. Five of Cups in reverse. It's a lot of the energy that's here. And it's connecting right with mending. I remember every detail of that day. So is there a specific... It was my fault, but I blamed you. So this is going to be something really specific that you know. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. What do you want to say to your Leo? That's too many. The 
they're gonna find a way to yeah they <laughs> they keep trying to get them here my gosh okay those are yours I'm sorry but it's just really clear I am so lost without you Leo I want to tell you how I feel I'm waiting for the right time it's the divine energy in in the hangman of getting out of there I fear you have moved on I know I messed up everything. Yeah, there is that fear here. And there is a, a quietness, you know. You are the love of my life, Leo. Something also you've been wanting to hear. The, the Nine of Cups energy, the Wish Fulfillment, the Six of Wands. You are my other half, Leo. Soulmate. Seeing you as a soulmate. If you're on a twin flame journey, that energy's here. I know it's not for everybody, but if you know, you know. They know. <laughs> As I say that, deep knowing, imagine here. As I say that too, I know I messed up everything. You are my other half. I made so many mistakes and I, I regret lying to you. I fear you have moved on. I could listen to your voice all day and night. We could be looking at musicians here, or people who are using their voice for like hobbies or work, but also when you love someone, you just love their voice, you know? My world is dark without you, Leo, and I can't stop thinking about you. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. Love notes. My heart belongs to you. You are the love of my life. We were meant to meet. It's fate and destiny. Fated connection. Destined to meet. Destinies intertwined. I stare into your eyes in photos. So they're looking at, they're looking at either their phone or maybe social media. It's a page of swords energy. We have a deep soul connection. I've never felt like this. We have a deep soul connection is right connecting here with deep knowing. I know I messed everything up. I know we have a deep soul connection. I know I made so many mistakes. I miss you too. So somebody's sending in I miss you. I took you for granted. Yeah. It's wanting to go here with, I messed, it was my fault, but I blamed you, and I remember every detail of that day. It might mean something different for you, though. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Couldn't let you get close to me. It's interesting. You are my person, Leo. You are my other half. Everything reminds me of you. So many things remind me of you. So imagining, literally, imagine in time for a nap. Quite literally, I'm thinking of you, everything, everything reminding them of you. No one compares to you, and I want to feel that way again. There is so much left unsaid. There is so much left unsaid, Leo. Yeah. You know, and again, temperance is... Literally, Archangel Michael is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. Communication. Your last channeled love message, Leo. Message from their higher self. Do you miss me too? Wow, I miss you too. So there's an I miss you here. I miss you. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. I, it's like I'm hearing an I miss you too, but like this... Things are not okay. Things need to, you know, be worked out for sure. It's not as easy as it feels in some ways. Leo, that's your reading today. Thank you for joining me. It was my honor to channel for you. And the person that came through here today, I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you, Leo. I'm sending you love as always and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon.